Okay, so last time what I did was I established this isomorphism between these two whole sets, between the uh, bundle morphisms over X, between the pullback of a bundle on Y to um, a bundle on X, and the, the bundle morphisms over Y between the, that bundle over Y and the push forward of the bundle on X were isomorphic. So I, 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 that was just a calculational thing to set up this junction between F upper star and F lower star. So what I want to do this time is, well, just make a few comments about that. So that was purely calculational. And often when you've got two things like this being the same, they're just describing one, one simple object. So, so let's just see what this actually was. So um, I actually showed that this was just the ordinary uh, sort of direct, the direct sum of, um, so this is over x in x of Homs between the set uh, of the fibers over f of x and the fiber over x. So that was that was sort of a step in showing that this S morphine exists. I showed that they were both equal to that. Now if we just write down what this draw a little picture to see what this actually is. So if we have an x here, y here. I've got a max f between it. Uh, let's just say for the sake of argument, we've got three points here, and we've got two points here, and we'll just max. Those two points. So the same point there. And sitting over x, we've got e. So we've got just these sort of three fibers. So e, e hat. So we have these three fibers sitting over the three points in X, and we've got the, we've got F, which is just the fibers sitting over. So these are just sets, the fibers sitting over each of the points in Y. And so what we have for each point in X, um, we have a morphism from the fiber over the image of X to the fiber over X. So hopefully I can find you a nice, Visible color here. So, so for each x, we've got a morphism coming from the fiber over its image. So, <clears throat> these two points go to the same image in y. So we get two maps from that one to each of the the fibers over the pre -image. So that's what uh, the terms in this uh, junction are. So you are just getting simultaneously. Uh, oh, I just realized that's direct, sorry, that should be the product, a bit naughty. I hope not too many of you were yelling at your screens at that point. So that should have been the direct product. Um, so, so that's just one way of thinking about what these two uh, isomorphic concepts are. It's just this. Uh, so, but this, this can sort of lead us to see what the other adjunction is. So here we have that the pullback f upper star has this right adjoint f lower star, but um, we can actually figure out what the other way around is. So if we, we can just equally well uh, sort of switch this round. So we can look at the <coughs> set of maps going the other way. So if we look at uh, the product over x in x from of the Holmes, so this is going from E hat of X into N hat of the image of X, so for each X we get one of those maps, uh, then it's not too difficult to sort of rewrite this. So, well, we can rewrite this in sort of two ways. Let's say this is over Y in Y, use the same trick we had before, the product over X in the pre-image of y, so this is just the same thing, from oh, the same thing there, which is just the product over y in y. And um, here we use the fact that if we can put the products inside, um, but it then becomes a co-product. So we get the product over the co-product of e hat x into f hat of f of x, but f of x is just y, so that's just y. 
And so this will be the, the direct sum over x, the copolyd rather, x is f inverse of y. Okay. But going the other way, <coughs> we could just push the, uh, that product inside, and this would just be. Uh, so, sorry, just leave that as it is, and that would just be product x in x of the forms from uh, e hat x into x star of x. Okay, so then all we need to do is just identify these two things as two different. Um, sets of bundle homomorphisms. So this is clearly the bundle homomorphisms from oh, let's find this up a bit more space now. So this is just clearly the bundle homomorphisms of X of E hat to X star F hat and we're finding that this is isomorphic to the bundle homes over y from this thing which I would call f lower star, f, sorry, f lower shriek of E into. Okay, so then we established that this thing called f lower shriek is left adjoint to f upper star. Okay, so what we've just done there is this. And you see what we've done. So we just defined <coughs> f lower shriek here. So if we just took f lower shriek to the of e hat of y to be the co product of e to the x, the x in f inverse of y. So we can define this push forward from bundles over x to bundles over y in two different ways, either by taking the product over the fibers or the k-product over the fibers of the, of the pre images. And in that way, you, it turns out you get a right adjoint and a left adjoint of f star. So that's quite quite sneaky, a little way we can come up with the left and right adjoint. OK, so I just want to say one final thing before I, before I finish here. And that's <clears throat> another way of seeing what f shriek is. Um, because we had this other uh, manifestation of bundles where we looked at the slice category. So we had um, set over x. So we had the bundle was represented by a map E to x. <clears throat> and if we have a map to, to y, then in this, in this way of describing bundles over x, then f shriek, I hope this won't be too confusing, f shriek of e over x is just the composition, is, is just equal to e over x. But then we just compose it with the map f, the map little f, so it's just equal. So in this, in this version of bundles where we look at maps rather than the fibers, the f shriek is just composition, <coughs> which is slightly confusing because f, the pullback along f in this other way of describing them was got by composition. So you should be careful um, when you're talking about bundles, uh, whether you're talking about them um, uh, via the fibers or via the vibrations, this sort of description. Okay, so that's uh, all I wanted to say.